Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel to mark people for removal in a contact list. Okay, so I've got a spreadsheet set up, and it's filled up with a bunch of uh, uh, fake names. Basically, I've got you know over 1,500 names here. And I needed to do this a little bit earlier where I had a contact list of people and I needed to remove some of those folks from the list before I sent out a mailing. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is clean up a little bit of my data. I've got the full names over here. I'm going to use the really simple, I'll just go ahead and create a first name box and a last name box. I'm going to use flash fill here uh, in order to give me the first names and the last names separately. Those are pretty essential when you're uh, mailing out, emailing uh, a bunch of folks. And for the first one, I'll just go ahead and rewrite the person's name, Aaron Bennett. And now that I've got that, I can head over to the data ribbon on Excel. Uh, there it is, data ribbon. And uh, notice that I've got the first person's name selected, Aaron, in my cell B2. I'm going to head over to Flashville, click that, populates all those first names. I'm going to go and click on the first person's last name, Bennett. Flash fill over here on the data ribbon. And now all of those on there are on there. And so I've got all of those first and last names separately. However, the other thing I need to do is I need to remove some folks. So uh, before I turned on the video, I uh, created a small little list. I just grabbed a few names out of here. Because what happens in my situation is I get a list of contacts from one department and it always is been refreshed but it always contains folks that I know I'm not supposed to contact or don't need to contact and so I maintain a separate list of those folks so I have my no contact list over here normally I would put this on a separate sheet and then I've got my full list over here and before I do my mail merge I want to make sure that I mark those folks and get them out of the main list so I'll go ahead and give myself a new uh, column, no contact. And for this one, I'm going to type equals and I'm going to do a VLOOKUP. Now my lookup value, I'm just going to do the person's full name since that's what I have over there in the no contact information. You could do other things. Um, you could be an email address. That could be a good way to go. So I could have a list of email addresses and then reference that. Um, in real life, I do have a column of email addresses next to each person. But I'm going to go ahead and use their full name as the lookup value, comma. Now my table array is going to be simply my selection of cells, my range of cells that contains those people that have marked for no contact. And I'm going to press my F4 key because I want that to be an absolute reference. Comma. Now my column index number, number is pretty easy here. I only have one column, so it's just going to be number one. Comma. And then I'm going to use false exact match. So I'll double click on false. I'm going to put false in there. Closing parentheses. I'm going to press enter. And we see I'm getting this uh, in a type of error. That's OK, not too important. I'm just going to go ahead and double click my fill handle, auto fill that all the way down. And you can see that when I do have a match, when there is somebody on my no contact list, their name is repeated over here. Otherwise, I have the little NA. I could, if I wanted to, clean this up. There is the uh, if error function in Excel. There's also the uh, if NA function comes up, and I could just have that be blank. It's not really a problem, because really, I'm, I would just be using this to sort my data with. And, and that would be easy enough to do. But just so we can see something else, I'll just go right in front of my V for VLOOKUP. Notice I'm actually, I could type this right in here. Let me double click. So right in front of the V for VLOOKUP, I can put if in A, opening parentheses. And then I will put a closing parenthesis, or actually I'll do a comma. My value of my NA is simply going to be an empty set of quotes, closing parentheses. So if I'm getting an NA error, um, actually, I take that back. If my VLOOKUP produces the NA error, then basically I'm just going to get a blank cell. Otherwise, I'll get the person's name, which is the default value. So if NA. When I press Enter, now that first cell is blank. Double click on my fill handle, auto fill that down, and there we go. So now I've got this. And then the step I would do next is basically I just would sort this so that I could remove these folks from my contact list. Now since in this demo my no contact list is over here to the side on the same sheet, not the best way to do that. Um, it's going to get a little bit messed up, but not too worried about it here. But once I have all of this information, 
And then I would just go ahead and click on one of these and I could do a sort, which is on my home ribbon, just sort um, A to Z is fine. Actually, let me sort Z to A, even better. And uh, now I've got all of those people. These are my no contact folks. And then I could just go ahead and select those folks. And don't forget, this is gonna mess up my no contact list over here. Actually, I'll do it this way. I'll just select that, right click, delete. Now I'm gonna shift cells up, click OK, and here we go. So now I've got a new contact list, which I feel better about sending email messages to because I was able to remove the folks from my no contact list. Okay, so what do we do to get that working? Basically, I used an if in a, which is an if error type of function in Excel, but really the meat of it is, is the VLOOKUP function. I simply looked up a value in my table over here, in this case, full name, that was part of my no contact list, and um, used that to identify those individual folks, and then I could remove them from my mailing list. Take care.